hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so today i got up this morning and i'm going to take a look at this lawnmower i'm going to take the uh overhead valve cover off and check the valves to make sure they're not out of whack and uh going to see what is wrong under that valve cover there so i'm going to pull this off look at the valves make sure they're gapped okay uh and pull out the uh i may even loosen them all the way and pull out the uh rods to see if they're bent or whatever i'm gonna can't wait to see how this goes see you in a minute so uh let me show you guys exactly what it's doing it's turning over but it won't start um, I've checked it. It's got spark. It's got a brand new carburetor on it ran fine a few days ago Well about a week ago now ran fine uh, Turned it off or let it I actually let it run out of gas, you know to clean out the carburetor and everything So there's no fuel residue left in there then After it ran out of gas, I went to crank it and this is what it's doing Spinning over like crazy. Uh, it's actually blowing a little bit of fuel out of the intake from the carburetor. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pull the valves, see what they look like, and uh, check the push rods. If that looks good, the next thing is to check the, uh, the actual cam, which means I gotta pull the motor. Stay tuned. All right, so I removed all of the uh, four bolts to hold on the valve cover. And it looks like my gasket broke yep gasket broke so i'm gonna get a new gasket that's fine now let's check these valves here so you want to rotate the motor by hand so let's see if we can do this here All right so as one goes up so this is your exhaust it has a steel push rod that's how you know it's exhaust this is your intake and the reason you know this is your intake is because it has an aluminum push rod also I see a lot of people on YouTube that call this the intake and it's, it's clearly the exhaust because the valve is literally where the exhaust manifold is I mean there's no way to say that's intake that's exhaust that's intake so now the the exhaust is all the way in so it's all the way open so now you want to check this this seemed like it was a little slacky to me but i can move it with my hand but see this slack here from watching other youtube videos where they were actually able to get their mower to start they were a lot looser than this and it still started mine's not starting at all All right, so there goes the exhaust. Now we'll get the intake all the way in. It doesn't look like the intake is moving as much as the exhaust. So let's see. See how far the exhaust goes in? Look at that. Look how far the exhaust is in. All right, so now let's check the intake, see if it goes in just as far. That look like is about just as far. I don't think it's clicking on the compression release. It looks like that's probably broken. Let's yeah, see. So now the top of that spring, this little piece here, you can see if I've got this plane and this plane level. You can see that this is all the way in, just barely to this top of the spring here, bottom of the spring. So now if we go on the intake side, which is this bottom side, we're going to see how far that one goes in. All right, so there you go. Plane it out. So yeah, there you go, see? It's about the same. I'm thinking the uh, and the clearances look pretty good. I mean, they're a little loose, but they're not like really, really sloppy. Yeah, so you can see the difference here, right? Here's your aluminum push rod. 
and it's under pressure so it's not going to spin but and here's your steel push rod so unfortunately it looks like i'm going to have to pull the motor and check the actual camshaft really didn't want to do that i was kind of hoping it would be in the valves so now i'm going to drain the oil disconnect everything from the motor and pull it off the frame so i can pull it apart and we'll look inside all right so i've disconnected all the wires leading to the motor to the starter drain the oil here as you can see over here it's, it looks like it's to be expected it's old dark thick i also took off that custom bumper on the front because it's not going to be a racing mower no more so no need for that uh let's see yeah i just took the uh intake off here and it's sitting right there I uh, didn't have to take anything. I took the, these off of the intake instead of removing them from the motor. And once I get the motor off, of course, I'll take those off. Disconnected the vent tube. Um, so, yeah. Now, I had to bring out the big jack here. Uh, so, now, I have to pull this pulley off right here. This is the drive pulley. This bottom pulley right here. This is for the... Uh, belt for the deck and then up above it I don't know if you can see it or not but up above it right here is the drive pulley so I have to pull this off the belt pull this drive pulley off which is just this nut right here and it should slide right out then I have to take these I think it's four bolts that hold the uh, motor to the frame and then I should be able to pull it straight out y'all stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> it's getting more and more in depth isn't it all right let's see what it takes to mow my grass all right so it took about 10 15 minutes and uh, some sweat but we got the motor off let me show you there it is you can see it is completely removed so all you have to do like i said if you have the right tools um, it's really no no big task you can see my impact down there uh, i took that pulley off it's a double pulley off of the uh, cam sh or crankshaft, which is the drive pulley for the wheels and the deck. You can see that's real dirty. I'm going to clean all this up. But uh, yeah, so once I pulled this uh, pulley, it came no problem. Took the belt off of the uh, idler pulley and the tensioner pulley. Uh, pulled these four bolts off that are here. You can see the spaces where they used to be. And then the motor just comes right off. And we'll go look at it now. So here it is on my makeshift stand. I got it sitting on a cardboard box so it kind of sits level. So it's my understanding from watching YouTube videos, because it's, you know, teaches us everything nowadays, is that you have to pull this bottom cover off, like a sump cover, I guess, or something like that. I'm not real sure what the name of it is, but in order to do that, we have to remove these bolts here. And let's do that and see what it looks like on the inside stay tuned all right i hope y'all can see this because the light's not that great but i got all these loose only took a few minutes supposedly they're all the same length but i'm not going to pull them out i'm going to leave them in there uh, they all have thread locker on them as you can see and uh, you want to make sure you use the right size um socket for this because as you can see they were so tight and in there for so long it was really banging the uh edges there of that of that bolt on the top there wouldn't take much to round that off so just make sure you use the right socket i don't know if this is the right socket but it fit let's see if we can see what this is up oh, right there look at that i don't know if you can see it or not it says half inch right there so half inch all right now for what I could see from the internet you take you a hammer and you tap it tap tap right here on these little lips here that hold the screws in to the to hold the motor onto the frame and it should tap it tap right off of there let's find out Whew. all right so it took a little more than a little tap it tap it tap like it took some beating and banging uh, but anyway, it is open. I'm going to pull this off, take a look inside, and let's see what we got. All right, so as you can see, I got the bottom off. Here's the bottom. 
as you can see it is pretty dirty in there i'm going to definitely be cleaning all of that out i uh, got to get a new gasket which that's to be expected uh, i do see a stamp right there that says 2007 so i'm guessing that's when it was cast so i've always wanted to know when this how old this motor was um the code and everything on the front's kind of wore off i could probably clean it up or something but anyway 2007 right there so we're going to go with 2007 now let's look on the inside of the motor so here's the camshaft here's your governor and it's it's loose or something so it's supposed to be it may have got beat loose but it's supposed to be uh on this little thing here it's supposed to be just like all right so that's how the governor is supposed to be i'm sure it came off when i was beating the crap out of it but uh it's supposed to be held on with this little tab here it just applies pressure to the governor here um i see this one does have the little space for the oil pump deal there uh, i had to make sure of that before i ordered a new camshaft which you don't really know if this camshaft is bad or not i'm going to try to spin it around it yeah there's the timing mark right there that little dot there should be one over here on this it should line up to it uh let's see where is it at it'll be a little dimple on the tooth probably down here where all this oil is anyway oh wait there it is right there so it's right right there i don't know if you can see it or not it's kind of kind of small but anyway i'm going to rotate this around and uh get it lined up to all the pressures off the valves and this camshaft and i'm gonna pull it out all right, so as you can see here, I got it lined up. Time and mark on the cam shaft and the time and mark on the gear there. I don't know what that's called, but that gear there. Uh, your gear there on your crankshaft uh, with a little notch there on the, you can see it there, and that notch there. So now that should relieve all the tension from this camshaft, and it should just pull straight up. Let me note, though, that I, something I hadn't seen in any other YouTube videos is that these gears... They are very sharp, so be careful. These edges, sharp. The inside of this, sharp. So let's pull this out. It should just come straight out. Yeah, look at that. Just came right out. So here are the lobes. They actually look pretty good. Yeah, looks looks good. Uh, this is your compression relief valve here. And it seems to be functioning. Let's see where I can put this out over here. Where it don't get. Yeah, I'll put it right there with the uh, governor. So there's that. I don't know what that's called, but it's a thing that pushes the the rod. Uh, opens and closes the valve. Pushes that rod right there. You can see that's the aluminum one. So you know that's going to be. Uh, You know, that's going to be your intake. Down here should be the exhaust. Yep. And it looks good as well. All right. So I don't really know what the problem is then. I was really expecting to find that camshaft bent, broke, the lobes missing or wore off or something. Because it's acting like it's out of time. But you can clearly see there it's, it wasn't out of time. Uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is to pull the head, see if there's an issue in there somewhere. All right, let's pull the head. All right, so, uh, all right, so a quick little zippity zip with the impact, and those bolts are out. So let's pull this uh, head off here and just come right off. Oh, oh, I'd say there's some hella carbon built up on there. What would y'all say? yep push rods look good they look nice and straight not bent i don't know if you can see them or not but they are in there nice and straight this however this is the problem look at all of that carbon build up and it's hard as a as a brick oh, that's top dead center So that's top dead center right there gasket made it through look at that gasket looks perfect uh, all right so let's check the actual valves now we know this has got to be cleaned all right so let's check these valves out 
Oh yeah, look at that. There. Oh, look at that one. That's definitely sticking there. This is the intake here. As you can see, all you gotta do is follow it over and go straight to the intake. So no question about what that is. That's intake. Your exhaust manifold is right here, and there's the exhaust valve. You can actually see the Briggs logo. But look how look how bad that valve is not seating. You see all that carbon buildup? We're gonna clean all that out. Get this valve out of here and try to clean it up a little bit and clean this one up put it back together and i'm going to uh pull off the valve cover remove the actual valves and uh look at that valve seat stay tuned it's just really really dirty a lot of carbon buildup. Uh, i need a new gasket for for this so i'm going to order a new gasket for this clean everything up put it back together and see if it'll run because it's uh i don't see anything broken or damaged just a lot of carbon buildup. So uh, that's where we're at. I'll uh, I'll do a I guess a part three. Whenever the stuff comes in, I get all this cleaned up and put it back together. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So hopefully I I can get this thing put back together and get my yard mode. Uh, I had no idea that turning this mower in, uh, into a racing mower, as you see, I'm sweating, racing mower into a cutting mower again was going to be such a task but it is the story of my life so anyway gonna gonna get all this cleaned up get everything put up back together or not everything put back together get everything uh, gathered up and uh go order some parts see y'all next time keep tcb in we'll see y'all later take care now bye bye